What is going on, YouTube people? New York Cards and Comics here. If we move to the end of the year, I'm recording this on January 9th. We flash forward to the end of the year. And I said, what are the top three? I'm just going to completely mail this thing in that a company does in the year of 2024. Uh, this might be one, two, and three. So for those of you that don't know, this has been shared every, if you don't know, then, you know, more power to you, but this is all over social media. Good on you for staying off social media. If you haven't seen this yet, some prison basketball has gotten loose in the wild, even though it doesn't come out for a month. And someone posted the image of the Victor Wembanyama rookie card. Uh, what are we doing here? <laughs> There is legitimately a curtain in the background. Just hang in there. Uh, can we get, is that, you know what it is? I figured this out. I've cracked this code. The Spurs wear a black jersey. We obviously know Panini is not going to put anything game used in a card. It'll be, you know, any, no specific game or event. Maybe they could get us rookie photo shoot photo used curtain and it would look like a Spurs jersey and they could put that in a card that'll be that'll be the chase and flawless and NT since they don't have autograph rights what like can we what are we doing what are we doing who did all like the employees get stolen from the panini warehouse by fanatics did they hire everybody is it just like some kids working there now? I don't understand. I do not understand. How, who sits around a table and reviews the images for the cards and was like, black curtain in the background. You can see the floor. We don't have to Photoshop anything. We get to save like 20 bucks on that. This is great. Ship it, baby. Ship it. How is this what you put for an image on your flagship rookie card for the hottest thing that's going to drive all your product sales in 2024 for basketball? How is this what you end up with? I just, I'm completely baffled by this. You legitimately couldn't have just photoshopped in a background? Hell, use the evil AI and make some sort of stadium background that he's standing in. I don't even care. This is ridiculous. This is absolutely ridiculous. Let me, I'll tell you something right now. And, and they are, to be fair, they're catching some flack for this, but could you imagine, could you imagine if fanatics did this, people would lose their damn minds. If this was fanatics putting this card out, they would lose their minds. They're only slightly losing their minds because it's panini. And Panini is just basically sailing a rudderless ship. Uh, you could tell they give no Fs uh, about the product that they are putting out. Good luck getting anything out of them. I saw there was a Mark Jackson mismatched auto or whatever. They've still never commented on the backdoor cards. The ones that got stolen the same way the Tops ones did. We're not going to get any comment from them on that. They don't care. This, If you had any doubt in your mind that Panini does not care about literally anything other than cashing the checks the rest of the way. This exhibit one, your honor, this should be used in the lawsuit against uh, Panini and fanatics. This should be exhibit one a for fanatics on why they are better for the sports world than Panini currently is. This is an absolute joke. This is pathetic. The flagship rookie and this is what you throw on it. I, and I don't even care. You could hate Wemby. You could love him. You could think he's the second coming. You could think he's the biggest bust in the NBA. Regardless, for this upcoming product cycle, he is the one that is going to be driving sales. And this is the image that you put out. Listen, I get it. You don't have anything with him playing in a game yet. Perfectly fine. Nothing new. We figured this out before. Just gray out the whole background. Photoshop him in a Metropolitan's 92 jersey. I'm wondering if they couldn't do that because of some weird Fanatics deal or something. But there has got to be a better way than this. You have got to fix that background. Come 
on. I mean, this is me like the last three months of my senior year of high school doing homework and papers. What are we doing? This is me like freshman year of college when I figured out I could skip class and no one cared. And me and my friend Adam would stay up all night playing Madden. Like, talk about mailing it in. I just, I, I am ba I would have loved to have been a fly on the wall in the decision-making process for this one. Just sitting there watching them all in smoke come out of people's ears on, yep, that's our image. That's the one we're using. And it, the image itself, like, you know, the photo of him is whatever. It's him dribbling a basketball. It's not the best, but we've seen worse. It's the, how do you just leave the curtain in there with the floor? And I assume this is some court design. It almost looks like it's wires running across the floor. I don't think that's what that is. I am hoping that it is just like something painted on the court that he's on, but it literally looks like wires for lighting. At least in the photo, that's what it looks like. If one of the custom card people, and I don't know, I, I think some custom card people watch the channel, I don't know. If you're a custom card person out there, I need a Victor Wemanyama photo shoot used curtain custom card. If you're not making that today and posting on Instagram and selling it, what are you even doing? Listen, I get it. Fanatics, Monopoly, it's not going to be great. There's going to be some things that absolutely infuriate me. Uh, I'm going to hate a lot of things, but you know what I don't hate? <laughs> they don't do stuff like this. Uh, they do some pretty dumb stuff, but this takes the cake. This absolutely takes it. The other thing that's fantastic about this is these are going to be like $900 a box. Prison football is 800. I assume prison basketball is going to be about the same. First off the line will probably be a thousand, twelve hundred dollars. Imagine this is the card that you're losing your mind over paying three hundred dollars a spot and a PYT for the Spurs to hit a curtain card. Like, what are we doing? What are we doing? They couldn't have got it's really the curtain. Like I said, it's not so much the image. The image isn't great, but it's the curtain in the background that really sets it off. There had to be a better way here. They're just had to be a better way. I, and so the real question here is, all right, let's 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 go to fantasy land a little bit. Let's, let's take a glimpse in the future. Uh, let's pretend Wemby is the second coming of LeBron. He is the next, he is it. He is the, fulfills all the hype, goes, wins multiple rings, multiple MVPs, defensive players of the years, the whole nine yards. Is this going to be his 2003 Tops Chrome? Like, is this going to be the flagship card that everybody wants? Or, because Prism is, at least right now, you know, love it, hate it, say what you will about it. Uh, a Prism is the flagship card. It might not necessarily be the most expensive, but it is the flagship. The Prism Silver is the Topps Chrome Refractor. You know, his Prism Silver will be the Topps Chrome Refractor like the LeBron. It, it, assuming this goes down that path, there'll be way more of these, but that's neither here nor there. You get my point. Will the image on this card because it is so bad, will it elevate something above it? Have they, I don't want to say killed the golden goose because they did that already when they let Fanatics come in the door, but does this hurt Prism? Now, listen, I know people are still going to buy breaks left or right. People are going to clear shelves for blasters and megas and all the other nonsense. But like long-term wise, you know, let's say Select comes out or Optic or hell, even Mosaic and it actually has a decent photo of it, is there a chance 20, 25 years from now uh, when Wemby's got his eighth title that everyone's jonesing over his silver courtside or his optic hollow or his mosaic genesis or whatever the case might be because this photo is just that bad? I have never, in modern sports cards, I'm trying to think, of a flagship rookie card that has a worse photo. And I'm sure there's one out there and I'm just not thinking of it. But like for your mainline guy, I can't think of someone that has a worse photo in any sport. I really can't. The only one that jumps to mind, and I know some people actually like this one, I never did, was the, um, and this isn't a flagship rookie, but it's close, uh, Luis Roberts, uh, first Bowman. 
is him at a press conference. I never liked that. I know there's some people out there that do. I would have preferred an action shot. So I don't know if that reaches this level of nonsensicalness, but this is absolutely absurd. I just don't, I don't understand how this got approved, how they got to this point, how, why I have many questions. Are you as all baffled by this? Do you not care? Or is, is this just the new social media zeitgeist thing that everyone needs to talk about? And that's why it's getting so much attention. Or is this genuinely really, really bad? Does this affect, does this card ultimately affect your buying habits for prison or this card in particular? Or if, if you're super Spurs fan, are you, I don't want to say ignoring this, but are you wishing and hoping that there is something much better coming down the line? I sure as hell hope so. Cause this is a pretty, pretty weak effort out of Panini for their flagship rookie card. That's all I got for you boys and girls. Catch you on the next one. Peace.